Answering all of your legal questions today is Advocate of the High Court, Robert Odanga. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Just a Wednesday. I thought this week has blown by. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so today we are here to answer questions. What was the atukujibu enough? Waliteta sana. Waliteta sana. Na maswali wakatuma kwa wingi. Yes. Woko tayari. Kabisa, kabisa, kabisa. Always ready. Always ready. Always ready. Okay, here we go. Yes. Um. Hello. Procedure ya kuongeza jina ya baba kwa birth certificate ya mtoi inakuangaje. Kuongeza jina ya baba kwa birth certificate ya, ya mtoto. Mtui. Yes, so probably ya ina jina ya baba kwa ina jina ya baba. It's, yeah. it's very easy. There mm -hmm. is, um, there's a, there's a, there's a, you want to add it on the birth certificate? Yes. You go back to the hospital to give you a notification card. Ah. They give you a notification. Once they give you a notification, you proceed for to the re registration of persons. So you go back to the hospital where you gave there is just There is a notification card that they wrote for you. Yes. You know, there is a notification that they give you yes. so that you can use it to process the... Yes. And that one, I can go and take a baba and a mama and everything. Unless you're telling me the father was not present. Probably the child not was present. Born. Yes. If so the child was not present before, mm -hmm. then all you need to do <coughs> is get that notification, play up a registration of persons, ID and everything else. It should be done. It is there's a very simple process. It will take a day or two. Oh, great. Really, that's a very easy process. That's a, it's just an issue of the notification. Come yes. on now. Come on a notification. Probably the father was not around before. Yes. Just the father can do an affidavit. Okay. An affidavit that is the father and everything else, blah, 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 blah. Yes. Have it, uh, take the registration of persons, but they'll register it for you. What if you want to remove a name then? So we were married and then we were not married and then I was in love. Nika bandika mtoto majina za my lover then. And then now, mm. later in life, we are not together. It ended up you're not a very good person and uh -huh. I don't want my child to have your name anymore. So you want to remove it from the birth certificate? Yes. That child is not just yours, is it? Yeah, but then you're not even in this... Uh, I'm still the father. You know, it does not... The f I am still the father either way. There's no way you can amend that. So there's no way to remove it? No, I'm the father. The name sticks. What yeah? You, you should have made this decision before you, we, you know, you decided to have a baby. Then we really me. have to think <laughs> about it before. I didn't know it was Make like... Make that decision before you have a baby with me. But the moment you have a baby and my name is there, it is there forever. It's only that when this child is now getting an ID when he's 18, can decide to remove the name or, you know, stick oh, so with what he wants. it's not on me. It's not on you. It's on the baby now to decide whether he wants the name or not. So the baby will have to, you know, when the baby is uh, 18, we, 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 say, we, we say when you reach the age of 18 is when you're able to make your own decisions. Yes. So when the baby is 18, is when now the baby will be able to decide whether I want to keep the name or not. Maybe the baby, maybe the baby wants to change the entire names. Okay. Uh, he wants to give himself other names. Okay. Yeah. We, you, we, you, you, you remember our favorite politician changed his name to Sonko and he's in the ID. Another it's one changed his ID. name to Babayao. Yes. And he's in there. So you can always have a name that you want and after it will be there. 18. Yes. After you reach the age of 18 and it will wow. be perfect. Yes. Wow. But so you can we really have it. to think about it as mothers. <laughs> <laughs> that is so So definite. let that mother think carefully because the moment it's added, yes. it cannot come out. So when I change my name at the age of 18, yes. Neza toa kwa birth certificate am it's just the ID now. No no, it's just the ID. Just the ID. The birth the certificate, certificate remains is intact. It's intact the way okay. it is. Okay. A birth certificate uh, just indicates like we are giving a certificate for being born. As in mm. it's just an issue of you 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 you, you exist. Not that okay. you exist to give you some documentation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But then now when you reach the age of 18, now you decide what name do you want? Ah. Do you want to change? <laughs> we can change it. You can. We can even change that name to all your certificates, so that okay. they can read the current name that you want. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where you have <laughs> been schooled? <laughs> uh, hi, Mix. Please hide my name. Mm -hmm. Ask the lawyer. I worked in the hotel industry. We have opened to full capacity, so my colleagues are still at home with no pay, and the employer is still adamant about letting them go, as in pay them their dues and uh, and go. They are home, no pay, nothing. It's one year, six months now. Okay. Please help. I had said that before, freedom of contract. I decide who I want to work with. You understand? If I was working with you before, and then I realized during this period of COVID, you know you don't make a difference whether you are there or not. Mm -hmm. I have work, it's still ongoing. 
we also must we, we also must put ourselves in the shoes of the employer. Mm -hmm. If I am paying you a salary, I need some end product. Mm -hmm. I need to know whether you can justify being paid the amount of money I'm paying you. Okay. So if you are not if you are absent at the workplace, yes, and I don't notice a difference, mm -hmm. my free freedom of contract I can just pay you what contractually I owe you, and I don't have to employ you again. So now this yes. employer is not paying. He's not paying the dues. Yes. No, no. Then he, so the employer, is entitled to pay the dues. I mm. think what the, the I think how I got the question is that um, mm -hmm. um, he's saying that he does not want to absorb them back. He just want to pay what he owes. So it says. Uh, my colleagues are still at home with no pay yes and the employer is still adamant about letting them go yes as in pay them their money and let them go which is so, good so then he needs to pay them or he needs to pay them yes he must pay them yeah he must pay them contractually he must pay them they need to give them a notice yes if he can't give them that notice he needs to pay them the two months in lieu of notice mm. yes if contractual it was two months some contracts have one month if contractually it is two months legally mm. it's two months mm -hmm. so you need to pay them the two months in lieu of notice can they sue? They can't sue. They can't sue. What what is the what is the grievance? They have not been paid for one and a one and a half years. That's the oh yeah, they can sue for not being paid, but yes. they cannot sue to get back to work. No. Yes. Just sue to get Just paid. Just sue to get paid. Yes. And the thing is when you're getting paid, you need to be given a notice of at least two months. Yes. So if the notice is not given to you, you need to be given a salary of two extra months. Mm. You understand? Okay. Yes. yes. Then now you can be able to, uh, they can, the employer can let you go. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Hi, Mikali. I am a married woman mm -hmm. that had a child. Okay. We have not gotten, uh, that had a child. We have not gotten our child. So okay. she got married. Um, um, With the child, yes, yes. Yes. Okay. So they have not gotten their child. Okay. Now I'm considering divorce. Okay. I have been providing for them. Okay. Will I be responsible for child support? If the father of the child is not responsible, it's Samuel. Okay, let's so start with Yes, yeah, to Samuel. Okay, so it's a guy. <laughs> okay. Samuel says. Who is sending the message? A girl Samuel. or Samuel? Samuel, a okay. dude. Okay, a yes. dude, yes. Samuel says, I married a woman. Who came with a child. Yes. Good. We have not gotten a child of our own. Yes. But now, he wa he wants Samuel, a divorce. Ma Samuel wants a divorce. Yes. And he's wondering how he has been providing for them. Yes. He's wondering if he will be responsible for child support. Mm -hmm. um, if the child, or the father of the child, ule baba mwingine mwenye wa uu mtoto. Akata ya kuprovide child support. Akata ya kuprovide. So mimi mwenye, nili kuowa na mtoto wako. Will I be held responsible? No. That's not your child. But I married you. The law is a bit tricky in that sense. I'm going Please to give explain. you two sides of okay. it. Okay. First of all is that um, this is not your child. You, as long as you're providing for the child and everything else, but the fact of the fact is the child does not belong to you. The child biologically is not yours. Okay. All right? So you, are not you cannot be sued to provide child support. You know child support is, you do know when child support comes in is an issue whereby you made a decision to impregnate somebody else. Yes. You knew what you were doing, mm -hmm. but now you're running away from your responsibility. So child support, we are trying to tell you, hey, come back here. You birthed a child, take yes. responsibility for it. Mm -hmm. This person has not birthed no. a child at all. No, he hasn't. Let me give you another flip of the side where this guy will be responsible. Okay. If this guy dies. The Samuel. The Samuel dies today. Uh -huh. Legally, that child that, was, that child that the mother came with will be entitled to inherit his property. Oh. You understand? Because he was providing for that child as his own. Yes. So the child is his. Okay. Okay? Yes. So if someone is getting brilliant ideas and there's a rich tycoon somewhere, you <laughs> want to go and marry. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do it. So if, if someone is alive and yes. divorces this yes. lady yes, yes, and yes. the child, then he is not responsible. No, he's not. Legally. He is not he responsible. He can do it from legally. the goodness if of his oh heart. Goodness of his heart. But yes. if he dies. Yes. His estate can be inherited. If he dies when they are still married. When they are still married. And the child was living with them then, throughout. Yes. And he was the one paying school fees, uh, clothing, and everything. Yes. He, yes, he's, he, the child will inherit. Question. Yes. At what point then, yes. Robert, do I, do, do you, <laughs> I was mm -hmm. going to say me as a man. Yes. Uh, d does Samuel mm -hmm. become legally the father of 
this child. Someone is legally the father of the child, it's but he's not a bio, he's not the biological father of the child. Okay. You see, like I told you, the concept of child support is we are holding you responsible for your actions. Okay. Your actions of birthing a child. What is Samuel's action? He never birthed the child, did he? He didn't. So why would you want to tell Samuel to pay so child support? So even if support? like he went <laughs> and we changed the names, the first even thing if that he, happens, he adopted the, the child. The first thing that happens in child support cases. Yes. A man will always ask, they will shamelessly ask for DNA test. Okay, that's true. Whether there's a case where the child <laughs> looks <laughs> like the father. <laughs> 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 the guy was in court said, Your Honor, I demand a child support. <laughs> the, uh, for the first time, the judge say, Jesus, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's those ones that look like the child has been given exactly. on a Exactly. This is a replica. Cutter. Like, this is a photocopy. And then you say, uh -huh. mm, it's not mine. Oh. I know legally you cannot use the term, you guys look alike. No, you can't. That. You have I to mean, get definitely you have to proceed and do a DNA test. If he's asking for it, then you give it to him. Yes, yes. And well, you see, whoever alleges must prove. If yes. you're alleging this is my child, yes. go get a DNA test in the at your cost. At my cost? Yes. Because okay. you're the one alleging this is my child. Mina Kambe is not. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> We, uh, uh, we're going to take a it's break. It's a bit unfair. It's a bit unfair. It's very unfair. <laughs> so me, I'm the one you're accusing, but the, then I'm the one who's paying for the DNA. Exactly. The so law. You're the one who's saying he's not. Yes, the law is clear. Whoever alleges must prove. You've come with an allegation that this is my child. You're telling me, as Mikali, I am the father of the child. I'm saying I'm not. Prove I am. It's very simple. I um, Tell me to avail my DNA, uh, my DNA, or whatever, so that they can, uh, or whatever, uh -uh. you know, Lancet or whatever it is. Acha to end the break. <laughs> Acha to end the break. We will be right back with Robert <laughs> after this break. Child cases are very tricky. My God. These are just straightforward. There you see them. Like, a lot goes there. A lot goes on. Okay. okay. <laughs> this, this is the break. For sure, for sure. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Full Circle with Mukali. I am still in utter shock. Yes. Utter shock. Okay. But it's, well, that's the law. This is the land that yes. we're in, and those are the laws that we abide by. So, yeah. The rule of evidence. But it's, is it expensive, evidence. DNA? No. Okay. It's not expensive at all. Okay. And then let's say the thing is, the other side, if as a lady, you go and pay for it. Yes. Now there'll be costs awarded after the suit is end. Uh, after the suit is ah, over. So okay. we'll the the money. Ah, okay. Okay, of course. 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 Okay, Um say hajawai contribute anything in his <laughs> life. I just struggle alone. Nimejaribu N L A S, but he doesn't cooperate. Please help. What is N L A S? N what the hell is that? I don't know. N L A S. I don't know what that is, but it feels either like way. they have tried to you know find <laughs> a way, way to what you need to do is you need to bring up a child support case. Okay. Go to the um, children office. Mm-hmm. Uh, report it there. Let them know about it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to look at it as someone who does not have money to get to a lawyer directly. Okay. So another place you could go to is Kitucha Sharia. Mm -hmm. Tell them what is happening. They will also give you free legal aid. Yes. So the thing is, um, uh, you need to first ensure that a letter is written or an official letter written to the guy, a demand that you. Or you gave birth to so and so and so and so and so. You've refused to honor your obligations. Um, I have the mother of the child is demanding the following monthly for the child, or you cater, cater for medical insurance, you know, cater for clothing. I'm catering for this. But you need to look at it this way that um, the law changed. Uh, before the law changed, now um, if you are the baby mama, or like let's say that in that's that kind of situation that they are in. It is a responsibility of both parents to take care of the child. 
Yes. So you need to tell me what your contribution is, mm. then I add my contribution. Okay. So it's not like as it's the man, yes. I take hundred percent contribution. No. No. Okay. So it's an issue of I'll be saying I'll take care of medical insurance mm -hmm. and I'll take care of clothing. You take care of entertainment and take care of shelter. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that's the way it is. Okay. So I think basically, that's a brilliant way to go. It's a brilliant way to go. Just yes. uh, make the documentations and everything else, or just find a lawyer friend to draft you the documents. Go to court alone. You're able to do it. Okay. Uh, chi 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 child cases are not complicated, really. It's a very straightforward issue. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Until you two more DNA. DNA. Ah, yes. That's some we can to separate. Yes. Now you jama. The only thing missing is who you ngombe. Like, guy, guys. Okay. So, sasa uh, mwikali tume separate na uyu jama okay. for three years. Okay. But he has <clears throat> never wanted to be responsible. Reason being, anadai to rudi home. Mimi staki kurudi kwa life yake, but nataka akwe responsible. What do I do? I think there's a child involved here. Yes, because yes, I don't yes. understand why you need the him to be responsible. Yes, yes, yes. There's definitely a child responsible okay. here. So the, the, the looks like the gentleman. He's saying come Ujama, back home. Come back home. Mkikuja nyumbani ni wanda provide ya. Yes. But the kiyoko inje, I'm not doing anything. Yes. It's a lot to do with ego. That's true. That is one. And uh, the man's ego is that, how can, I be, how can I be providing for you and some other guy is taking you out on a mm. Friday evening? Mm. So but I'm not baby, really doing that. But the baby is not <laughs> being taken out on a Friday <laughs> evening. No, please. <laughs> but you see, it's, it's something that I've had kwa, kwa dunia, kwa dunia. Like, even if you're, you're si tumia chana. Yes. Nikijua una date mtu mwingine, I stop taking care of your child. 99%, that is how those children kids are in court. Okay, okay. A lot. Mm. I am handling right now like four that are just the Whoa. same way. Um, I don't know if I give this other clue, you might know the client is. I'm going to keep a very, 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 very important person. <laughs> my, my brain has gone. I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you did your search and everything. Very right. important celebrity. Um, yes. the thing is, it happens with men. It's look at it this way I mean, if I'm paying your rent. Okay, because you live with my child. I do shopping, na letter. Then I find some guy sleeping there and eating my baby's snacks. <laughs> Come on. <really>? I, so <laughs> you're going to say this 40-year-old and I could last snacks, Dom Toto. <laughs> hey, this, they do that. They do okay, that. Okay, they do so, that a lot. So and then, you see, once that happens, I'm telling you there is no way I'm providing anything else. I will personally come, take my child, I will go restaurant, I will go to the restaurant, I will go to the restaurant, I will go to the restaurant, I will go to So what if I'm paying, paying the rent? Okay. You, you are taking care of your child. So you are not going to pay for it. How then do we d separate me taking care of the child and you? If I give you 10,000 shillings to take care of my child, how do I know you are not going to buy nyama for your man? So with how? Money. So every day to tango na kula chakule me piko na mafuta. This is what this the client. What um in this case in this case that I'm handling is that um, <laughs> I'm representing the lady. <laughs> so what is happens is uh, the guy had rented an apartment for the lady. Okay. And the guy was paying rent of one hundred and five thousand. Wow. Uh, in Lovington, mm -hmm. one hundred and five thousand shillings. So one day this guy just shows up without saying he's coming in. Finds the lady sitting down on a sofa putting, you know, her head on the man's lap, anashiko shikwa nyuele. The guy was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> 105,000 exactly. alafu he. Do you know the guy said, listen, told the, call the landlord, listen, I'm not paying rent anymore. So the next month's rent to live with. I'm not doing anything else. The man, this, the man went basak. He said, like, no, I'm not doing this. So we went back to court. So, you know, like the lady sued because you know, you're not providing. I'm going to sue you to provide. So I went to court. The judge, the court only asked, what are you going to provide? I said, I'm going to provide shelter. I'm like, how much can you afford a rent? 15,000 shillings. You need to look for a house worth 15,000 shillings. So the lady now is living in a house worth 20K, I think. 20,000. From 100, a house of 105,000 because of that. So, so basically, you see, even legally, if you continue suing, all the guy needs to do is provide his affidavit of means. So he's saying, what this lady is demanding, my salary can't provide. You know, probably if I is a businessman, so you're unable yeah. to, to approve a, a lot yeah. of things. You can't really prove a lot of things then. So, mesema tukiachwa na watoto na tunalipiwa 105k. Tu tupeleke boyfriends, tupatane na boyfriends. Boyfriend, uko inje. Sikwa hiyo nyumba. Sikwa hiyo nyumba. Apana, apana. Do not... Um, uh, when I say manga, a house is not paying rent in. <laughs> As a gentleman, please. As a gentleman, respect yourself. Because you see, 
the, this guy has done is he's messed up the life of this lady because school fees was paid to Brook House. It has been recalled. He's so saying Chuko it's your child. You see what happens with men is sometimes you hate the mother plus the child kidogo. That's just when wrong. you grow up. You tell the child when you grow up, he'll understand. You ask your mother what happened. Why you? Why? But why were you? Were why were you? Why are you at Brook House now? On, uh, uh, why you Brook House now? Call DB. Uh, what happened in between? Yeah, what happened in between? You know, um, the I man just decided just no. Be get, they should just get back together. <laughs> <laughs> so oh let me let me tell God. you these cases. If you talk to people, these cases happen a lot. Yes, a yes. lot of them happen like this. If you look at a rich man who has been sued in a child support case, try and get behind it and understand what happened. The background, what is the bitterness about? So the guy is just bitter, like, I can't believe I'll give you a car, because the guy provided a car. You understand? The guy provided a car. The guy provided a driver. Ukichoka kuendesha gari, utabebwa. You understand? Yes. So all these things, and then you hang out with a guy who, you know, <laughs> according to him, is... Not of his standard. How is this how is this <laughs> case going? We are not doing a very good job. Kama alipata nyumba ya 20,000. Robert. <laughs> no, the case is still ongoing. The case is at the earliest stages. Of <laughs> course, we've put in application after application. The only thing I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get career records to prove that this guy owns more than he has. Uh, okay, you understand? Okay, and I will okay. show that this child was being paid for school fees at Brook House. So there is this man is available. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So the guy is also saying, listen, mm -hmm. give me my child I stay with. Mm -hmm. You stay with your man. Mm -hmm. Give me my cast and everything else. I'm willing to stay with the child and take back, put the child back to the, where the child was before. Yes. You understand? Yes. So the lady is saying, I don't want to stay far away from my child. I mean, my child is only seven years old. I'm not <sighs> doing that. So what would you choose as the lady then? Let the child go so that the child enjoys life? You or... <sighs> Can also stay with your man. Let's just love each other. And <laughs> just be and I see most <laughs> of these cases, then what happens next is, yeah. once this man that you are found with realizes that easy support is in the end, he disappears. So you are left alone again. You know. And come out and you are not going to be after you. <laughs> <laughs> Confidentiality. <laughs> Google who is in court. But anyway, we are not here for that. We have a couple of more yes, questions. Yes, yes, yes. It's a very um, famous celebrity in Kenya. Yeah. So okay, okay. start with a uh, politician. <laughs> I will. And then if I any homework, text triple yes, one yes. triple four triple one. <laughs> Hi, I would like to ask more about whether there's justice. Uh, I think we t we took care of this. Oh wait. Yes. Mm, oh, here. Tell us what happens in criminal cases and why is it that someone can be given a cash bill of 350000 and another person 50000 mm -hmm. Why would someone be jailed for life for bang of $3 million, and another person shoots someone in a club and is roaming free? Wow, very wow. specific. Very specific. Very specific. It, I hope he's not, he's not, we've not mentioned the name of anybody, so no one can sue us for this, really. No, no, there's no name. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the name? Well, this is a very, it's think, I think it gets up to the question, the question that you're reading before that. Yes, um, the justice, and I think we, couple, we, we tackled it. This is a serious topic. Well, I think, first of all, I'll answer this. Okay. I was talking to somebody the other day, and I believe, uh, forgive me, I may take a bit on this. Okay. It's very important. Okay. Then he told me that the problem with Africans is this: um, um, we are we get to us, we are in bad situations. We get like you live in a society that is really bad, but you never really want to change the society. What you want to do is you work hard to make enough money so that the problems are not relevant to you. Mm. I don't know whether you get you got to I what see, I see where you what I so say. it's just it's very individualistic. It's very individualistic. Yes. And um, the moment you make money, for instance, if there's a problem in is in uh, let's say in Dandora, mm -hmm. you want to grow up making a lot of money so that you can live in Karen. Yes. So the problems that are in Dandora don't affect you. Don't, don't affect me. And f you, when you live in Karen, you will not you will not even campaign for problems in Dandora to end. You understand? But that is how we grow and the days move and the days move again. So you end up working so hard to are not related to the legal the legal realm that you are in. Yeah. You will find that very successful lawyers and those very big names that you hear about, the ones that now are just bickering on Twitter, uh, you'll realize that when they were young advocates, yeah. 
they had issues of justice in court because other lawyers used to buy that justice. Okay. Now what they did is they made so much money themselves that they realized that the problems of injustices in court does not affect them. They can simply buy it. Ah, so okay. if I have an important client, all okay. I need I know is I need how much? Uh, you know, uh, 10 million in cash. I go give it to the judge and I'm good to go. I don't need to argue anything else. You understand? Jeez. So the thing is, when does this cycle end? I don't know whether you get what I'm saying. I'm getting you and I'm wondering, I'm when hearing for your life. When does this cycle end? <laughs> <laughs> you understand me? And I can tell you this. Lawyers are the most depressed individuals you'll find. Who you might see them in a Porsche car and everything else, but they're really happy. It's especially if you find a lawyer that does not drink. He's on the verge of depression. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you saying about yourself, Robert? Uh, basically, I'm giving you a general idea. A general that idea of You what realize exactly that in, in the Kenya School of Law, they have a bar, but they have no hospital. <laughs> <laughs> that is, anyway, getting back to the main point, whether there is justice in Kenyan courts, yeah. I will never give you a yes or, or a no. no. I don't know. I've been in this profession, I go to court every day. I handle, uh, I, right now I have over 215 cases that are active that I'm handling yeah. every day. But I cannot really tell you, I am not confident when I go, do I, am I confident when I go before a judge and argue and expect justice? Yeah. I don't know. It's a gamble. It's like sport Fessa. Let's see what happens. Yeah, you understand? Because you realize that you have such a good case. The, 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 the last part that, that guy has spoken about, mm. someone was found trafficking bang. I think it's a case that was ongoing. Yes. I think they were fined. Is it 3.9 million? He, he says. No, no, no. It was, it was, no, the bang was worth 3.3 million. Yes. But the guy has been taken to, uh, the guy has been given life imprisonment. Mm -hmm. Do you think that is fair? And then there's someone who shot someone. There's someone who shot somebody. And they are roaming. They are roaming free. Um, I will not equate that to justice. I will equate that to just good lawyering. Okay. Because what you see, what you see as a lay person, mm -hmm. and the evident, the, ev the, the 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 evidential burden of it in court is different. Some things you look at as murder, some of them are provocation. You have your defenses and everything else to it, legally. That's why you're told, do not write a statement without your lawyer present. Uh, because you think I'm innocent stating what happened, then you're innocent incriminating yourself the entire time. You'll find people who know, whether you have money or not, you'll be arrested like, okay, did I do this? Okay, wait a minute. I'm not writing anything until my lawyer is present. He'll advise me what I need to do. Okay. Understand me? Okay. Because it's an issue of the, 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 the evidential value of what you're presenting. In the court of public opinion, which is where we're standing on, we're judging the person who shot somebody else. Yes. If we take you <coughs> to court to prove what happened and show, oh, see, it, was, it was on video, <laughs> oh, fine. It was on video, <laughs> or whatever happened. Oh, we, everybody saw it, their witnesses. Okay. What else happened in between? What happened right before? Yes. Understand? Yes. You have to explain all that. The issue of all that happening. Okay. So, um, someone asked me, was it, I think I got a question, I think it was today morning. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it was, I think, today morning. Mm -hmm. Someone told me that um, um, they are fighting over land. Yes. With somebody. Mm -hmm. And um, they are wondering whether he should go to court or not. He's yes. fighting with a very powerful person. Yes. Does he let the land go? Does mm -hmm. he come into, does he, is he, he's being forced to sell, does he continue, does he sell by mm -hmm. force? Mm -hmm. Will he ever get justice in court? I'm like, listen, <coughs> let us go to court. Let's go to court, fight it out in court, see what happens. Sometimes you might be in that court for two years. Yeah. And after two years, then you still have to appeal because the, you're not satisfied with that judgment. Then you're into another, the fourth year. Mm. You understand? Yes. So it's an issue of, we need to do a lot in terms of, uh, having the public believe in our court system. We have a lot of work to do. First of all, the judges are overwhelmed. Mm. You do know a judge, where you sit, you know a judge will sit from 9 a.m. in the morning up to 4, listening to people. What? They're just listening and writing. This person comes in, oh, which file number? They're just writing and listening and writing mm. and listening and writing and listening. Okay. That is too much for one person to go through. You don't expect this person to make a sober decision on everything that comes before him. Then after that, he has to retire and write a judgment. Yeah. You see, he has to make a ruling. Yeah. He has other things that he needs to attend to. Mm -hmm. We need to do more. What we need to do is we need to have more judges. We don't have enough. So we need more. That's the reason we need more judges. Yeah. So we even the backlog can the just... The backlog, because there are cases that 
the cases that were launched as early as t in the year 2000 like i was telling you there's so yeah. many that i have that for what for the year 2000 yes and still 2000 i had not even begun the legal profession <laughs> you understand me so that i'm handling a case that someone file in the year yeah. 2000 why uh -huh. is that still uh -huh. happening so we need serious reforms in the judiciary the good thing is we are heading towards that and i'm happy about we're that. doing that we're doing well very well because mm -hmm. we're opening courts everywhere yes but the thing is we're not putting in enough personnel okay. that's why you find the bureauc bureaucratic processes are happening for instance, that person is talking about the criminal issue probably the judge was like you know what me i'm tired and i'm fed up yes i don't want people to keep bothering me so i'll give you the maximum sentence of life imprisonment if you don't like it go and appeal it at the end of the day, I will say I did my job. <laughs> you understand? I, 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 did I give you what according to the law and how I knew yes. it and I've justified myself. So yeah. it's good. Ro Robert, we're going to take a very short commercial break. But yes. when you come back, I'd like to find out if you've ever defended someone who you knew in your heart of hearts was guilty of that crime and how did you go <laughs> about it? <laughs> we're taking all your questions. Triple one, triple four, triple one. We will be right back with Robert after this very short break. Welcome back. Welcome back to Full Circle with Mukali. We've taken an hour today because you asked for it. Mm -hmm. You asked for us to be able to answer all of your questions. And that is what we're doing today with Advocate of the High Court, Robert Odanga. And mm -hmm. just before the break, I asked you, this is not even your question, guys. <laughs> this is just from me. I'm just like, have you ever defended someone and you knew very well, Robert, that they, con they committed this crime? Okay. And you decided to defend them. Oh my God! All right, so I'm, I'm right on the spot now. <laughs> 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 okay, the thing is, um, I yes I have. Yes, you have. Yes, I still will. Okay. Uh, because even criminals have rights. Mm -hmm. That's what we usually say. Mm -hmm. And um, you, a client will come and confess to you that I really did this. What I will not take, mm -hmm. cases I will not take, and people who have met me know, is you will not come and tell me you killed a person. Okay. And I defend you. You're not doing murder. So those murder cases that you've seen me handle, like the one I handled recently. Yes. That was a, that, that there was one on the papers a lot. Yeah. Uh, my client was very innocent. I still insist on it. Very, very innocent. Um, I will never handle violence against a woman. I'll never handle rape. Okay. Those three cases. If you, to if you come and tell me I did this, I raped this woman. You woke up. I will just say no. I'll recommend a lawyer for you, to you, you know, someone you can go to will defend you. Um, tell me you really assaulted this woman badly. I won't do it. It's just a personal choice. Maybe it's how I grew up. So I will never do that. Okay. But come and tell me you stole money. <laughs> 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 I mean, I mean like like how, much, like how much money did you steal? <laughs> <laughs> how much money did you steal? I mean, let's, <laughs> let's really go through this. Um, okay. Basically, you see, in law, in 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 in, in law class, we are taught a few things about, and I can't be sued for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I cannot be sued for it. You, you have to, uh, I have to zealously defend my client. Yes. The moment your advocate fails to zealously defend you, you can sue them. Yes. You can say, I came, I told him, I did this, and I did this. I told him how I did it. He couldn't find ways to defend me. He was lazy in his work. That's the reason I've been convicted. I could be this bad. Whoa. It is that bad. The moment a lawyer must do everything in their power to defend their client, okay. you have to go all out. The moment you fail to do that, then I am liable for prosecution myself. You understand? And I cannot even stop defending you because you've not paid me. Mm -mm. By law, I must defend you whether you have paid me or not. As long as the you moment yes to me. I have accepted the instructions for you, you know, to, 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 to defend you, yes. then I have no other choice. My hands are tied. So if you can, yeah, my hands are tied. Tunezo wa tumia vibaya. Nashi nangatu ni mekubembeleza tafadhali. Lift back at Kibobo. Tuende kotili. Then I also have, for me to stop acting for you, yes. I have to do an entire application. Ah, uh, okay. I need to, uh, what is the application for that? What is the application for? I want to see his acting. The application, the judge will, we can deny it or accept it. The judge mm. can reject it and say, no, you am not letting you off this case. You okay. must see it to the end. So okay. it is a serious, like I'm telling you, we do a lot. It's not an issue of you just see and like, okay, I don't have. The moment I accept the instructions, then that's it for me. 
Okay. I don't it's, have a choice. I really. think it's very good for us to know that. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> now you know. That. But because I know you don't know, I might start threatening you. No stand up continue Kesho. Because I know you don't know. Maybe you lipo tani yana by the way. But you're here now. We know. <laughs> I will sue you. <laughs> now lawyer mungine because you are not. I will. You know. So we have a question here. Hi, yes, Mukali. Yes. I lost my dad in law recently. Okay. He left a lot of people who have his debts because he's a businessman. Okay. As his family, we've been left suffering and a little broke after his burial. Okay. When he was in hospital, the same people who has his debts did not pay either. Okay. He, uh, we would like to take legal action against his debtors because so much of his money is outside. Okay. But to where should we start with suing these people who owe him money? Will the courts help us as a family really to get back our livelihood. Okay, good. First thing first, a person is dead cannot sue. Oh. But there's no doesn't mean there's no way out. Oh, okay. The thing is when you're dead, what you leave behind is your estate. Yes. So you leave your estate. Mm -hmm. When you leave behind your estate, meaning your estate has liabilities and assets. Mm -hmm. So what happens is you have to go through the process of succession. Okay. When you're inheriting, you inherit both the debt and the profits and ah. the, the assets that are there. Okay. Both liabilities, the, what the best word term to use would be liabilities and assets. Yes. You inherit all of them. You understand? Okay. So you need to decide when you're doing a succession course, are, this, are there more liabilities than assets? Or are there more assets than liabilities? Before you inherit. Before you decide to proceed with it is uh, it is it is illegal. It is it is not allowed. It is unethical. Not illegal, but it's unethical to do that. Um, I, I should not. It's it's a tactic that we <laughs> advise clients, <laughs> with, but it's not it's not good to do that okay. because then you deny an innocent person what they are owed by the person who died. Yeah. But the thing is, you need to decide whether there are enough assets and liabilities. Okay. Okay. understand yes um the moment you, d you realize there are enough assets that can pay for the liabilities as well then now you proceed and do your succession course you get uh, someone appointed as an administrator after that is done you come back and sue everyone that <laughs> owed this guy money <laughs> the person is dead <laughs> you understand yes, it I happens do. in cases where for instance um maybe a person maybe um, he, um uh, your dad or your uncle was walking on the road mm -hmm. and then um uh, some some guy knocked him over with a vehicle and he died mm -hmm. you see you were looking for compensation from the person that killed him mm. you know there's some, some, some certain things that needs to be paid for mm -hmm. continue the barrel and finish and everything else then sue the person who you know knocked him down with a vehicle those cases are there yeah. a lot of them are uh, we, uh, we, uh, we we have so much so, so many cases that are of that nature okay. so what happens is you sue as an estate yeah you sue as an estate so it will be said the case of uh john this yeah brought in by his estate or a representative that is this and this and mm. this and this you understand? Yeah. So once you do that, you bring, bring out all your evidence and everything else, then you're able to get the money in. Okay. So even during succession process, the judge will ask, mm -hmm. have you listed the liabilities? Yeah. Have you listed the debts that are owed? Mm -hmm. So what most people will do is they will not list the debts. They will hide the debts. Mm -hmm. So that then they okay. can inherit the assets and change them to their names. Yes. That's the reason why the law says if somebody dies and you're going to succession matter, you have to gazette it. Okay. So that if you am, if I'm owed money and I see oh this a gazette notice here for confirmation of grant of so and 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 so, and so. Mm -hmm. okay good then now I can come in and say that I'm owed money, but if that time lapses without you saying anything now you cannot come back and claim. Okay. Because maybe after succession, uh, after succession is done and someone has been given that property, the property is no longer for the person who died. Yes. The property now belongs to the person who has taken it. Yes. So is that person is an individual, this person does not know you and does not owe you anything. Okay. So uh, before that is done, you need to check out for the gazettement. Once somebody is once someone has died, try and find out when the succession matter is coming up. Mm. Try and look at the gazette notices and know so that you're able to bring in objections and things like that. Okay. Yes. That is duly noted. Yes, yes, yes. Um, this is Clara. Yes. Is there a document one can sign to show that they are legally married without going through all these marriage processes? Mm -hmm. My husband is not an outgoing person and does not like gatherings. Okay. What do you what do you think about so the, the husband? So the question so let me I just I, I, we get the question. What, okay, so what do you think of the husband? 
I think maybe he's not willing to commit. <laughs> <laughs> why, is that, why is that the first assumption that ladies have? Because I'm just thinking uh, there are ways to get married without the gatherings. Okay. If you want, and I don't think there's any, see the way you're putting me on the test. <laughs> I, I, I don't think there's any other document that can replace a marriage certificate. Okay. We ruled out the affidavit yes, last yes, time. Yes, 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 yes. So yes. you just need a marriage certificate. Okay. And if you're going to go to yes. the AG's office, yes, yes. it's not a gathering. It's not you a just gathering. need two people yes, yes, who are yes, just yes. going to be there with you yes, as witnesses yes. of this union. Yes, yes, yes. So, yes. so I think that really answers it. The thing is, the man probably does not like gatherings. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Talk to the man again. Let's yes. find out if the man wants to be do, to do this or not. Yes. Yeah, just tell him that they tell him his marriage ceremony will last ten minutes. <laughs> he just <laughs> needs to true. sign and that's it. Yeah. I think it also happens where you find that one person some like for instance a man is engaged to a lady who really wants the glamour. Mm -hmm. He wants the you ask him, what is your wedding dream like? Mm -hmm. I want it with I want it at the beach. I want uh, 10 cars i want this and that you know mm -hmm. yes. you know then you know the man will also have a cold feet i'm not able to deliver yeah. that what you want you know okay so uh probably i'll just let him talk to the man you know? yeah I think yeah just I think think that just what you said the man. but the there man. is no there's a reason we call celebration of marriage it has yes. to be celebrated yes yes do you, did, I, did i say that no. before no do you know what celebration of marriage is uh, no <laughs> 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 what um, is it? A marriage has to be consummated. Ah, uh, okay. I know that. When you say it that way, yes. So if yes. it hasn't been, is there a timeline for that? Yeah. What is the timeline for consummating a marriage? Cons immediately. In three, four days. You need to consummate the marriage immediately. So I mean, if, if Before you consummate the marriage, it's not there, really. <laughs> so if three, four days go by without that happening, and then what does that mean? No, no, no. The law will, the law will at least give you 30 days. Ah, uh, okay. I'm, just, I'm just making wait, it wait, wait. Mm. <laughs> And you see, we are believing you. So you have so 30 days to consummate and legalize your marriage. Yes, yes, yes. So okay. maybe I think I'll be more dramatic and say, I don't need to bring me that uh, advice a man. You need to consummate it within 30 minutes. Man, 30 minutes. Uh-uh, we're watching so now. <laughs> 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 we have another question here for you. Yes. Hi, Mikali and Robert. What happens yes. in cases of doctor's malpractice? And I want to sue this doctor. Do these cases stand in court? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. These are the most high-profile, easy cases to deal with. Okay. Very well-paying, I tell you. Mm -hmm. You won't lose a thing. If you're very sure the doctor was negligent, mm -hmm. just bring the a negligent suit against the doctor and the hospital. Okay. You will be paid well. It's it's a good case. In fact, sue immediately. You're wasting sue time. Sue immediately. Yeah. I mean, uh, once you're able to prove that, the thing is, have your facts right. Yes. Have another doctor give you a proper opinion. Okay. A proper medical report okay. indicating that there was that. The, for instance, there is a very famous case that is going on where someone, a doctor at one of our very biggest hospitals, was doing surgery. Akacha kisu kondani. Yes. Now there is also a guy who was amputated the leg instead of the hand. Excuse me. Exactly. Ah, Those were cases of someone who had cancer on the right foot, and they amputated the left foot. So now the guy still has to lose the other for the other right foot. A lot of these things happen in a hospital. Oh my goodness. A lot of them happen. Go to our biggest hospital in the country. I want to give you just to go today. Get to the ward where the or the ICU ward. Get to the ward. You find patients who are very sick that are actually on the floor. Yes. They keep falling and there's no one to pick them up. Yes. I mean this story of a nurse who had who had admitted the mother in the one of these hospitals and had to be there in person throughout to check on the mother because there were no uh, there was no one attending to the mother yeah. at all and they also had to also leave that and attend to other patients so m m malpractice in in uh, in the medical field is al it's so much it's so it's, it's a lot okay. i mean that is the one profession that is always sued My there's God. always a case against <laughs> one yeah, hospital there's no hope <laughs> because let me tell you why yes we live in a world of connections Okay. We know very well medicine Yes. We uh, know that for a fact. We know. Okay. You don't have the brains for this. Yeah, but, but no, because no, 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 your no, entire no. family you everyone is at everyone is a doctor mm. and you guys have money. You pay for your exam, you pay the lecturers, unalipo unapata your kazi and you can't handle it. 
That is where people, when someone talks, talks to you about harder connections, I got them. Ask them, this person that you've helped become a doctor, would you let them treat you? This person that you've helped and has become an advocate of the high court, would you? If you had a if you had a murder case against you, would they represent you? Would you let them? Yes. You with your clear mind, let them represent no. you. Because this person you helped there. become a pilot. Yes. Oh God. Would you let this person, you know, fly you from here to Diani or Not Dubai? Even, no. Even just from here to Nanyuki, would you let mm -mm. them do that? Mm -mm. You know, you some of these things you have to think through. They have they have very serious consequences. So the the reason why you have problems in the medical field is that is that a lot of those uh, not a lot but a certain percentage of the people who are there don't deserve to be there in the first place. And the second thing is doctors have become greedy. Even those who are professionals in a manner that if I am employed at KNH and in Andrews also want to have a private practice somewhere else. I have my private hospital or I'm also you know a consultant in a private hospital. Mm -hmm. So when you come to KNH I tell you okay, ee dawa ta yiko available sa hizi, ee procedure ta kuna this uh, there's a long line of people waiting. Lakin. You be missed fanya hivi, let me send you to this hospital. Just uh, just tell them I'm the one who sent you. I actually I'll go there in the afternoon just because of you. I'll attend to you there. There you go you're told okay, the procedure that in, uh, KNH charges you 10 k it's 150. You know you know you're sick. It's your health. Yeah. So we'll pay the money either way. This is a topic that, that we need to talk about. It I is a very that, serious that issue in this country yeah. whereby you find that doctors mm -hmm. are making serious money mm -hmm. out of patients that are just desperate. And just to put it out there, the names we are mentioning does not mean there is evidence to that. Yes, yes, yes. yes. But it's uh, just yes, it's just, it's just <laughs> hospital. That's what I'm saying. Generally. One of the biggest, general, one of the biggest yes. hospitals that are there. Yes. So you really need to we really need to be serious about that. that the issue, so we really need to be serious about it. Absolutely. Yes, 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 yes. Great. Yes. So you have a question here that I think most of us come kwa barabara ushai jipata kwa situation. Okay. Robert, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. I have been stopped by a cop on the road. Truthfully speaking, mm -hmm. I have no mistake. Mm -hmm. They come up with a mistake and insist on taking me in or nilipe kitu kidogo. Okay. Are these some of the cases that you deal with in court because it has become common in Kenya now? Hadi reporting does not seem like an option anymore. We deal with a lot of these cases. Uh, the, I tell you, Kenya is, we also have rogue police officers. I've talked about rogue doctors, rogue yes. police officers. Yes. In, in, in the legal field, not a lot of mm -hmm. rogue because see, we are in the kind of business where we provide services for, for at a fee. Yeah. And uh, we never really even go for the highest bid or anything. Mm -hmm. It's an issue of you come for legal advice, I give it to you, you pay me. Mm -hmm. But there are certain professions that these are core people in our society, yes. but they just rogue. Uh -huh. I have been, uh, the issue of, and this, you see, the thing is, the cop has stopped you on the road, you know you don't have a mistake. Yeah. But Pia, in the back of your mind, you know this car can't miss a mistake. Hakuna mm. kamgu nitapata kajeisha. So the thing is, what you need to do is, if you have time, you know the Kenyans, we don't have time. Atakushika, they are, first of all, they're not supposed to get inside your car. Please say it's louder. A police officer is not supposed to get inside your car. Yes. At all. They need to tell you, go to Langata police station. You show up at Langata police station with your car, take, give out your license, give out whatever it is, they tell you what your issue is, they will charge you. Then they'll give you a cash bill. The excuse they'll give you for not giving you a cash bill is that, oh, the officer, the OCS is not in, we can't just give you a cash bill, he needs to come in. You know that the OCS may end in patrol. Ataja kuja tabidi ulale, he cash bill upewe kesho. You understand? It is wrong. They, they do that intentionally, they should not do it, it is illegal, it is unprofessional, and if it's a police officer listening to me right now, stop it. You do not become a police officer. Okay, the thing is, police officers come for us, come to us for advice uh, all the time because they find themselves on the wrong sides of the law a lot. Mm. You understand? Mm. You go to prison today, yes. you'll find police officers there. Yeah. You're wondering, why are you here? What happened? You're supposed to be upholding You're the law. You're supposed to be upholding the law. How yeah. did you even get here in the first place? You understand me? Yeah. So the thing is, the thing is, the, the, the thing is, mm -hmm. um, whenever a police officer has caught you in a mistake, yes. Ask very nicely, what is the charge? Yes. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. Be very kind. And ask officer kindly. Just, just tell me, what is the charge? What am I being charged for? Okay. This is what I'm being charged for. What's the penalty for that? 
Mm-hmm. Okay. When I guess prob- when are you guys pressing me to court? Am I going now? Am I going on Monday? Okay, can I get a cash bill in the meantime? Now m- my cash bill is there. Can I go? When am I supposed to report to court? Any documents you can give me for that? You understand? It's an issue of do not let the just let the officer know that you know. You understand? That not in an arrogant way. Because yeah. remember when you're arrogant, they're like, ah, where, 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 you've insulted me. Ni, 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 ni. No. Let the officer know that, you know, we get into a lot of problems with police officers every day, uh, including this morning. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> you're getting a lot of issues with that. Because, no, you there. The officer is like, no, this is what is happening. Sometimes an officer charges you, or, you know, like, the charge is not even in the penal code. It's not mm. there. And then they... They they they, 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 you know, put you in a category because, you know, you cannot be taken to court without a proper charge no, they can't. or the section of the law. So they create it. So I'm they, they unafix you up or you nashanga. Do you have evidence to prove this? Yeah. You understand? Yes. I mean, what you're talking about, really? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> but to my sema ya kwamba, nikishikwa na traffic. Yes. Cop. Yes. Asingie kwa gari yangu. Apana. Tafadhali, tuwache wa, tuwache wa. Na kwanza, unajua wana shukisha nga mwenye ameka mbele ndi watu wakayako? Atingia, atingia nikia hapa mbele. Aizi kaa nyuma. I once had a client who alinyambia, alo, the police, the police officer is in my car, ameka mbele, okay, no problem. Where were you going to? I was going to Kajiadu, Kuapi, ni Kumbasa Road. Drive that car to Kajiadu. Finish what you're doing. <laughs> Robert, thank you so much for coming through. Can you believe yes. our one hour is over? Really? Imagine. I mean, it felt like it's been 10 minutes. <laughs> Come but on I feel now. like this is good. I uh, <laughs> feel like we, we're doing great. I um, think we are. In terms we of are. advising people, I love yes. this. Yes. It's, uh, so it's we'll a way we again. give back to the society. Absolutely. And if you have any more questions whatsoever, reach me. Reach, reach out to me on 0725-119-100. Mm-hmm. And then you can visit our offices at Parklands, Parksuits, uh, just opposite Parklands Police Station. We'll be able to assist you. Or go to our Facebook page, uh, Odanga Advocates, you know, but type in any message that you have, we'll be able to also help you. Go to our website, Odanga Advocates. We are available. We are a team of several lawyers okay. in the firm that will be able to attend to you very quickly. Absolutely. Some people have come and be able to help them. Awesome. So whether you have no money or not, just walk in. Please come in. Or call our that first, number. Our first, our, first, uh, our, our, our first motivation is to be able to give you solutions to the problems that you have. Absolutely. So we'll be able to advise you very well. But feel free, show up. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you Robert. so much. Been this can great. continue for a bit. Yes, yes. But we have bills to pay. <laughs> so we're going to take a very short commercial break. We will be right back. All right. Asa-